Hi everyone! Welcome to the children's program from Leaside United Church and Rosedale United Church. I am Roberta, the children and youth minister from Rosedale United Church in Toronto. It is a real treat to be sharing with both communities this morning. Today, we're going to talk about God's love in action. If you have a Read, Wonder, Listen Bible, we're reading from it today. For today's craft, you're going to need the following. Different colored construction paper, a pair of scissors, some string or ribbon, a pencil, and some tape. You might want a cat for an assistant, however, that's entirely up to you. If you are watching this show live, then this is the time to go and grab these materials before we get started. If you're watching on the YouTube video, then feel free to pause while you get the rest of your materials. Now it is time to light the Christ candle. Do you remember why we light the Christ candle each week? It is to remind us all that every one of us has a bit of God's light within us and to remind ourselves of God's presence. Before we begin our story, I want us to begin with a big stretch. I wonder if you can do that with me. I want you to get off your chair or the couch, wherever you are, and I want you to start as a tiny little seed, bunched up nice and close and tight, hugging your knees, and slowly, slowly move your arms up and your legs up and stand nice and strong. And how far can you stand? Can you stand on your tippy toes? Arms reached up, 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 up. Can you get to the ceiling? And down. I bet you feel a bit better after that stretch. And now we can sit down and listen to the story. Our story from the Read, Wonder, Listen Bible continues from where we left off last week. Moses had brought all of the people into the desert from Egypt, and they were gathered at the base of Mount Sinai. Moses is going to share with them some of the gifts that God has given him. When all the people were gathered together at the base of Mount Sinai, Moses shared with them the gift God had given him on the mountain. This is what God told me, said Moses. So listen. Long ago, I decided to shape a new kind of people, people who would bring peace and blessing to the world. I began with Abraham and Sarah, then Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Leah and Rachel. Look around. You are their descendants. See how their family has grown. The people looked at one another at, at their children. They remembered the old stories. Then God said, when you go into the promised land, you will be among the living people who do things in a different way. You will be tempted to follow them. But you must remember who you are and follow my ways. This is the way God wants you to live, said Moses. So listen. Then Moses told the people everything God had said. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I am the one true God. I am the one who had brought all things into being. This is how you will show your love for me. Do not make gods of other people or things or ideas. Do not think you can capture me in an image. I am more than you can imagine. When you use my name, use it with care. Keep the Sabbath day for resting and giving thanks. Those rules at the end of the story, the commandments, they offer us a clear way that God wants us to live. There are also a lot of do nots in there. Don't do this. Don't do that. However, we can also look at it from a different angle. For example, Instead of thinking, do not do this, do not do that, we can say, know that I am the Holy One. 
the powerful one. Follow my ways instead of following after the things you like or want. Be careful how you use my name, whether you are speaking in anger or in joy. I rested when I finished creation. Follow my example and rest on the seventh day of the, each week. Keep that day holy. These rules all come back to the same big rule. Love God, know who God is, and remember that God loves you. Today, we are making a paper heart chain. It looks kind of complicated, but I promise you that it's very easy. We're going to start with all of our construction pieces. I'm going to have them piled up nice like this and fold them in half just once. Like so. So it looks like a little book. Then put it down like this and we take our pencil and we are going to draw half a heart. Just like that. And then we're going to draw a smaller half a heart in the middle. No two hearts will look the same. I bet that if you compared your paper chains with paper chains of your friends, they would look very different. Then we take our scissors and we cut along the outside line. What I like about this craft is that instead of doing a bunch of hearts at once, you do just a little magic trick. Because now, instead of trying to do five hearts and they all look the same, you did them all at once. We're going to shave it a little bit, just make it a little bit deeper in the heart. There. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then, we're going to do the same with the inside. Nice and carefully. Some of you might want a grown up to help you. There. And now we are left with some heart rings and some smaller hearts. And these smaller hearts, you can make a separate craft. You can also just put some tape on them and stick them all around the place. It's entirely up to you. But for us, we have these little heart chains. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to link them all together to create one long heart chain. To do that, it's quite simple. We take our scissors, Cut one heart, and then we tape over the little cut that we made. So we're going to do that with each and every heart, creating a nice long chain. All right, one more to go. Cut a tiny little slit, put it over the heart, and tape it closed. Just like that. And then we have a cute little heart chain. Now, this does not need to be the end of it. What we can do is take our string and tie it to one of the heart links And then we can use the string, once we tie it off, we could hang it on a doorknob, we could hang it on a mirror, we could hang it on a hook, we can hang it wherever we want as a reminder of how much we love God and God loves us. Everyone needs a few more hearts in their life, don't you think? What do your hearts look like? 
Do you want to show us? We always love seeing your crafts and pictures and hearing how beautiful you made your work. Just like this. Seeing all of these hearts together in a chain makes me think of some of the ways that we can show God that we love God. When I see God's creation, like the trees or the water, I like to say thank you to God. I also like to take care of what God has given us to show respect for both the creation and the creator. Can you think of any other ways that we say that we love God? Maybe it's a prayer that you know, or a song that you sing at church. Ask your parents if they have any ideas as well. Our time has come to an end, but before we go, let's give thanks to God for giving us a guide for living our lives, showing love for God and love for ourselves and others. May we live the way of love. We'll see you next time.